The bottom line is your Prime Minister, Mr Orban, has now announced that there'll be a referendum. He says, and I'm quoting him, with the pressure, he means the pressure from Brussels, on Hungary so strong only the people's will can protect Hungary. That's classic populism, but it actually, again, doesn't follow the law, does it? Because whatever you might vote in a referendum, you still have to accept the authority of the European Court of Justice, unless you're no longer prepared to do that. Uh, <clears throat> you say uh, populism, I respect you, and I respect your opinion, but I think this is democracy. Because democracy is about the uh, fulfillment of the will of the people. And now the people will have a chance to uh, make their will very clear. But real they democracy is also about respecting the rule of law, and in this case, respecting the European Court of Justice. So frankly, your referendum doesn't mean anything. What really matters is the ruling of the European Court. No, come on. I mean, uh, considering the will of the people, which means nothing, this is very anti-democratic, uh, I think. I, uh, still, uh, I am still sure about the fact that the law which the Hungarian parliament has passed is absolutely in line with the European regulations because the European Charter of Fundamental Rights says that the parents do have the right to ensure that the education of their kids is in conformity uh, with their social, pedagogical and uh, psychological um, aspects. So what we have done here is absolutely within the European regulations. And even more than that, issues of education are falling within the uh, national competencies. So a uh, referendum will definitely count. We are ready to uh, give the chance to the people to announce their opinion very clearly and everybody will have to respect that.